Here's a Samsung Galaxy S6 tip for you. I'm going to show you how to enable easy mode. We're going to swipe down from the top, tap on our settings, and we're going to come over to the personal tab. So swipe over till we see personal, and then tap on easy mode right here in the middle of the screen. So right now I'm set in standard mode, but easy mode is going to help me if this is maybe my first device and I'm just finding the standard mode to be a little bit cumbersome and I cannot navigate my device and I feel like I really want to throw it against the wall half the day, come into easy mode. This might actually help you. Tap done and it's going to relaunch our phone to easy mode. Now this is really cool. I have a big clock, I have a nice weather, I have the date, I have giant icons that I can quickly see and read, swipe over, here's some of my favorite apps that I might use, come back over to the left, here I can set up favorite contacts by tapping on here, it's going to allow me to create a contact and add an existing contact, so you can add all of your family members and friends right here on the screen. Come over here, we can tap the plus button and add an application out here to our favorites, so I wanted to use Chrome a lot, I can tap Chrome and it adds it out here. Now tapping edit is going to let me to delete some of these apps from here. I can delete it from the home screen. We'll go ahead and remove it. And I can come over here, delete these from the home screen and reposition those if I would like to. And even delete contacts if I added them out here. Now notice that I can add in home screens. Now I don't know why you'd want to do this because this kind of gets into the standard function of your standard launcher. It's just a little bit more dumbed down. But if you're going to start adding out home screens over here, I would honestly suggest you more likely stick with the standard launcher as you're starting to get into more of the advanced features, but you can add those screens if you actually wanted to. And if you added a screen by accident, you can tap the minus button in the top right hand corner and it deletes that screen. So we'll go ahead and delete that screen. Remove it and we can come back over here and we can do the same with this one. So I can remove that screen. So now I'm back to my three standard screens tap done, it's going to save my changes. Now let's say that you feel like you're ready to come back into the standard mode. Easy mode is just way too easy for you. Come into your actual settings. Notice here the settings menu is kind of dumbed down a little bit too. It doesn't have as many options right here from our main menu. Tap easy mode, tap on the standard button, tap done, and it's going to relaunch your phone into the standard mode, and now welcome back to the actual digital world. I feel like this mode is a little easier to learn. Uh, it gives you a lot more options to actually function the phone, and you can actually move around, navigate, and you have more options to customize. But again, the easy mode is going to be if this is your first device, and you're just trying to learn, and you'd like to do something a little bit easier. So that is a Samsung Galaxy S6 tip on how to enable easy mode.